Now 10,000 more troops will be on the streets of France by Tuesday night in a bid to stop another terror attack. The forces will join 5,000 police who are being sent specifically to protect Jewish sites and some mosques. Meanwhile, staff on the magazine whose office was attacked, Charlie Hebdo, are now preparing a new edition which will feature more cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Here's our Europe editor, Gavin Hewitt. France, a country changed by three days of terrorism. 10,000 troops deployed on the streets, soldiers riding an escalator in a shopping center. This morning we had 900 soldiers deployed around schools in the city of Paris. Many of the soldiers were guarding 700 Jewish schools. Children arrived for the school day with troops at the gates. The government said it was employing the military as it had never done before. We need the army because we have in front of us terrorists. We have the terror. It's, it's not a joke. New information emerged about the suspect Hayat Boumedien, the widow of Ahmadi Kalebali, one of the three gunmen. She was shown in a white headscarf on CCTV, arriving at Istanbul airport, having flown via Madrid. Her phone signal suggests she has now crossed into Syrian territory in an area controlled by the Islamic State. Turkey said they had received no request to detain her. There was no notice from France stating that she is dangerous and she should be banned from entering the country. Therefore, there isn't a specific entry ban on this person. In Paris, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited the Jewish supermarket where four hostages were killed. His invitation to French Jews to migrate to Israel has caused some irritation in France where government officials have pledged to defend the Jewish community. At the office of the paper Liberation, they are preparing the next edition of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, having lost eight of their colleagues in last week's attack. There are mixed emotions, said Pierre Freidenrach, director of Liberation. There is tension because of the deadline to publish, and then there's distress because they're overwhelmed by what they experienced. There will be cartoons of those who were killed, but according to the magazine's lawyer, there will also be drawings depicting the Prophet Muhammad. The magazine has already said that on Wednesday it will have a print run of over a million. One newspaper stand that we contacted said instead of just ordering two copies, which they do normally, they're going to order a thousand. But the appearance of new cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad will cause concern amongst some people. Tonight, the bodies of the four Jewish victims were taken to Israel for burial tomorrow, on a day when the French government will discuss new security measures. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Paris. Well, after the incredible turnout of those rallies in Paris yesterday and across France, the country now having to deal with actually what it means to try to ensure security for people and uh, for more on that as well as on today's hacking of US Central Command. I spoke a short time ago with Daniel Benjamin. He served as coordinator for counterterrorism at the US State Department. Daniel Benjamin, the story about France has always been that they've had very good internal security and good intelligence when it comes to terrorist threats. What went wrong this time? I think the law of averages catches up with you after a while. There are a lot of threats. There are a fair number of people who've been radicalized. And it's a moment of particularly high tension because there are extremists who are really supportive of what's going on in uh, Iraq and Syria, who are much excited by that, who want to show that they're part of the fight. And in addition to that, you have anti-immigration sentiment and an economic downturn, all feeding off each other. So at some point, there was bound to be an attack, and I think that this was that attack. And we've seen security today being stepped up around what are being called sensitive sites around France. Do you think the threat is still out there? Oh, I think the threat is going to be with us for some time. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a campaign, a real wave of attacks, uh, but there's always the danger of copycat attacks, and of course the fundamental facts remain the same. There is this uh, war going on in Iraq. There is uh, still a lot of anti-immigrant sentiment out there, some of it even strengthened by 
the uh, attack last week, and uh, it remains a tough economic situation. So would you have thought that other cells that might be there in France, and you know, obviously we don't know how many there may or may not be, might look at what's happened in Paris and think, right, time for us to activate too? That's entirely possible, and always the moment of greatest danger is right after you've had an attack, when someone else wants to get into the act, wants to show that they can do something too. Okay, let me ask you about what's happening in CENTCOM. Uh, does this look to you like an embarrassing intrusion on a Twitter feed, or does this look to you like a serious hacking of sensitive data? Uh, it really doesn't look like a, a serious security threat of any kind, or that anyone got inside uh, the Department of Defense's computers. You know, Twitter feeds, YouTube channels, things like that. Those are uh, held outside of uh, the institutions and are not, I think, especially difficult to hack. We've seen hacking cases uh, with other institutions. So I don't think there's any reason for anyone to be worried about security, uh, but it is uh, an unpleasant and uh, probably embarrassing Can you tell from the tone of what was being put on the Twitter feeds um, and up on the YouTube sites whether this is an organized assault or somebody in their basement acting alone? I don't think you can really tell by that. The, uh, uh, the Twitter feeds uh, mostly have a kind of goofy tone to them, if anything. I love and you, ISIS, that yeah, kind of It's stuff. just showing off that they can, they can do this sort of thing. There's not any real threat information being uh, uh, relayed or any uh, larger meaning to the attack in, in uh, Paris being uh, con uh, communicated or anything like that. Okay, Daniel Benjamin, thanks very much for coming My in. My pleasure. And a quick addition on that, the FBI does say, by the way, that it is investigating, of course, that uh, Twitter and YouTube uh, hacking CENTCOM saying that there was no operational or classified information uh, that was released. Quick look at other news.